Yo, guys, what's poppin' everyone? In the first couple minutes of this video, it's just gonna be some highlights from the past couple days of Arena and Cash Cups. If you wanna watch, feel free to, but if not, timestamp's gonna be right here and you can jump to the tips. Don't forget, I stream stuff like this all the time on my Twitch channel, link below. Enjoy. Oh my, oh my. I just hit the craziest snipe of my life. Not going to that just I mean, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm a classic. That. Oh, yo, yo. Hi, can you heal? Behind you, behind you. I got one edit. Dead. Dead. I mean, go, 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 in my box. This video is gonna be different. I'm not gonna spend minutes upon minutes upon minutes of time trying to explain to you every little thing in every detail. I'm gonna show you all the tips right off the bat really quick. I'm tired of seeing a 30 minute edit tutorial on how to get faster at it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what needs to be done. Here we go. First one, spend 15 to 30 minutes every time you get in the game practicing edits. Next one, shout out Raider. Whenever you do an edit, make sure you see no blue anytime you edit. Right away, the second you grab it, no blue. Same thing here, you should almost never see it. It should be gray almost every single time. Next, your crosshair placement is probably the next most important thing on it. it should be very small always grab the corner of all the tiles that you want to select do that really fast and your edits are going to look mad clean practice doing whatever drill you can think of that spam edits for example just walking around and mongrel classicing everything you could see right now i'm doing it at double the speed so it's a little harder because i'm inside this map but you get the point just literally walk around spam edits best way to get your fingers warm is just by doing as many things as possible next is be smooth and consistent before your razor fast savage didn't get good by spamming edits like crazy the first time he hopped on the game he probably started out smooth and consistent before he built up that speed one of my favorite drills to practice is just come here cone wall cone wall cone wall like that what you want to do is just place the cone and then flip it up reset it and then place a wall that's a drill that's helping me a lot actually make sure you do every single edit from a weird angle you should never be doing the same edit every single time at the same angle it's completely unrealistic so when you're practicing edits make sure you're doing them from this side make sure you're coming here getting close with it hugging the wall make sure you're doing it from the other side too and last but not least just try doing it from really far away so i don't know if you guys have been wondering but the reason why i'm in this map teaching you all these tricks is mainly because of these drills specifically seven is really really good for just practicing mechanics like a realistic game these are all pretty realistic don't get me wrong but this one i find helping me the most you come here cone boom reset and then you crouch beat. so it's wall cone boom this side like that if you practice this all the time you're gonna get cracked literally sometimes i warm up i just do these drills one through 14 or 13 whatever it is notice how when i do these edits though it's so smooth and i'm not doing anything that's unnecessary just watch me while i do this i'm coming here very clean but i'm coming here smooth crouch peak i'm getting the mechanics down before i build up the speed The 
the most important tips I mentioned here was being really tight, not seeing any blue the second you're about to edit. Oh, and also one last one before I forget. Make sure that when you edit, that when you're a mouse keyboard controller, it doesn't matter. What I do is that I lift my finger a little higher than you might think. When I edit really fast, I'm not barely lifting up my finger. I'm doing it a little higher than usual. Same thing goes for my keyboard and same thing would go for my controller. The reason behind this is because of this. When you do it the way I'm talking about, you're able to count the amount of times you have to click. When you do it really fast and just have no thought process behind it, you can't build muscle memory in there because there's no strategy to it. You're just blatantly spamming the thing as fast as you can. Lift up your finger a little more so you can practice counting in your head while you're editing. So it's one, two, three. So I'm coming here, one, two, three. You know, mad fast, one, two, three. Just constantly practicing that every time you edit. So you might have to lift your finger up a little higher on that button so you can get used to doing that. If you don't count, you're never going to build muscle memory. At that point, you're just spamming it. It's going to really be noticeable when you try and quad edit for the first time. You're going to be like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just feel like I'm spamming my buttons because that's literally what you're doing. But when you're able to come a little higher on your buttons, you're going to find that you're going to be a lot more consistent. I'm not even trolling. That's got to be one of the best tips. If I can't help you with that, you might need to like uninstall or something. No, I'm only kidding. But in all seriousness, make sure you drop a like, hit the sub button and turn on notice for the one time. Don't forget about that giveaway. If you want to enter, just look in the description down below. And I also just want to point out that though I've been doing content that's been done before, I'm trying to find different ways of approaching the same topic because a lot of these videos have a lot to improve on, including my own as well. I'm not saying mine are perfect. But if you like what you see, drop a sub because it's going to be better stuff in the future. No cap though, I really do like making videos like this. It feels good. I'm not trying to BS you guys into watching the whole video. So the people that do, I appreciate you. Shout out to the people on the screen right now using code KenBeans. If you want to be in the next video, just DM me on Instagram, Twitter, and just show me proof of using my code. And you're going to be in the next video. I appreciate all the support from everyone. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Deuces. Peace.